This problem will explain how to calculate velocities. Usually it'll start with a hose that's going into a smaller hose. So let's say that we've got a 5 inch diameter hose line that's traveling into a manifold that's gated down to 3 inches in diameter. So the pipe is 3 inch here. We know that any water flowing through this 3 inch is going to be the same gallons per minute as the water flowing through the 5 inch and that's part of the way we can solve this problem. The last thing that they'll give you is they'll give you a velocity of the water through one of the hoses. So let's say that they tell you it's 10 foot per second in the 5 inch. What they want to know is how much in the 3 inch. First thing we need to do is we need to solve for the area. We know that if we take a pipe and cut it in half, this is the area, the end of it. And we know that the area of a circle is equal to pi r squared. Now pi is a given that's always 3.14. So we're going to multiply 3.14 times the radius, which is half the diameter. So if we're talking about the 5 inch hose, half of the diameter is 2.5. But we're going to square that, so that means do it twice. And if we multiply 3.14 times 2.5 times 2.5, we come up with an area of 19.63 square inches. So we know that's the area of our 5 inch. We also need to do the same thing with the 3 inch. So our area is equal to pi r squared. Area is equal to 3.14 times the radius which is 1.5 in this case times 1.5 and that gives us a total square inches for the area of 7.07 .07. so we now know our two areas we just need to put those into a formula so we said earlier that any water flowing through the 5 inch is going to be the same so we can set this up to an equation and say that say that the area of the 5 inch times the velocity of the 5 inch is equal to the area of the 3 inch times the velocity of the 3 inch. So we will go ahead and do is fill in the numbers that we do know. We know that the area of the 5 inch is 19.63 and we know that the velocity of the 5 inch is 10 foot per second. We know that the area of the 3 inch is 7.07 .07 but we don't know the velocity of the 3 inch. That's the unknown yet. Anytime you have an equation in algebra where you've got one unknown, we need to get that all by itself. So we need to get rid of the 707. And the easiest way to do that is divide both sides by 707. As long as we do it to both sides, it's fair. We're going to cross 707 and 707 off, and we're left with the velocity of the 3 inch is equal to 19.63 times 10, which is 196.3 divided by 707. And when we multiply, divide that out, our velocity of, number th of the 3 inch is 27.76 foot per second. So our answer is 27.76 foot per second.